Uh, yes, my name is uh, Peter Troxler. I'm. Uh, <laughs> it's always a difficult, difficult question to answer. Um, I'm Swiss, I'm living in Rotterdam, uh, doing war work uh, all over Europe mainly. I do what I do. Um, I do two things. One is uh, conventional uh, business consultancy, and the other thing is I help organizations to find business models that are based on open source ideas. And they're not looking at software, but looking at open source hardware, open source design, design etc. Um, I actually was uh, asked by uh, Leon if I would be interested to join that group and uh, since I'm developing all these thinking uh, around business models and open source and particularly in design, I thought this would be a fruitful exchange. Um, ever since I left Switzerland, which uh, is 10 years ago, I've been involved in working with people across distances. I had uh, two uh, cultural enterprises in Switzerland where I still worked uh, with these guys in the early days uh, when I went actually up to Scotland to work as a research manager. That was in 2001. So it was the, the very early days of uh, desktop video conferencing. Um, and, and ever since, I've, I've always been involved in, in these kind of uh, distance, collaborative uh, working environments. Well, the, the biggest challenge, um, I've, apart from technology net not working, um, power losses, uh, bandwidth problems, router crashes, uh, computer stolen, etc. Apart from all these issues, uh, the, the, probably the, the most difficult thing is when there is a large group in one place and several people connecting in through a, a one to the group uh, connection. Because uh, typically the, the group then is not aware um, that they're in a digitally mediated um, conversation situation. Things like don't talk everybody at the same time, say a name before you start talking, particularly if people um, are not familiar with who's around the table. All these kind of issues uh, where, where people who are in the face-to-face -face setting are not aware that the digitally mediated uh, thing is, is a different one. And the other, the other issue apparently is, um, particularly when using video conferencing, that people are not used to use video conferencing. They don't know that they have to mute their microphone when they're not talking, uh, all these kind of things. And the third, yes, the third thing, particularly with Skype conferences, uh, of, of three, four, five, seven people, you suddenly notice that there are only two talking and the rest is somewhere and then you ask their names and they're not reacting, they're not reacting until you, you say ping them in, in the chat or something. Uh, they've been doing somewhere else on their computer, checking their mail, uh, filing their uh, whatever, time, filling their timesheets or, or anything like that. I think that's the, the, the three main issues with, uh, with this kind of mediated uh, communication.